Good morning from Vancouver, British Columbia on this beautiful day. I hope everyone here will take the opportunity to enjoy it today as well. But this morning, we're going to again share you some uh, powerful information, powerful knowledge that can really um, help you to exist in a much higher level than what you're perhaps already doing. Whether you're aware or not, um, we're going to share with you once again the secrets of frequencies and vibration. And what we're going to demonstrate here today is maybe you've seen these Tibetans uh, singing bowls, tuning forks. Okay, they're all about creating vibrations and frequencies and sound. And what we do know is that the whole universe is sound, frequency, and vibration. So are we. And we are being affected by sound, frequency, and vibration. And again, sound, frequency, and vibration is energy, okay, which is being transmitted all around us. We're in a bathing in a field of frequencies, vibrations, a field of energy that comes from us from the cosmos, that comes from us from every object, that comes from us from technology. And frequencies can be positive enhancing our frequencies can be negative. And in the last 100 years, once again, 200 million new frequencies. So we're literally being bombarded. So wherever we're going, uh, many of these uh, frequencies that happen to damage us. Okay, so because you don't see it, it's basically you're being invisibly ambushed, um, assaulted and damaged. Okay, so wherever you're kind of going and how do you know uh, how that is affecting? You might not necessarily know it. And again, you've maybe seen, if not, check out some of our other um, videos. And with our wands, uh, we can personally test anyone and check their environment, where is their home, their office, uh, anywhere they're being, uh, their own personal bodies, and check how you functionally or how you function uh, based on your own energy and then with the effects of everything that's around you. So that can be your own energy, then anything you put in, on, and near your body, okay? They all have an effect. And hopefully, the outcome is all going to be good. But we do know this, that today we're challenged. There you know, many, many uh, diseases are on the increase. Things you didn't hear about 50 years ago. Look at the levels of cancers, look at the levels of diabetes, and many, many other things. So why is that? It's simply, we are being detuned into a lower frequency range as our overall being, okay? And we need to just simply get back into the knowing of how to bring ourselves back in that higher vibration, okay? Using frequencies. And the ancients didn't know about it. And once again, here I have a singing bowl, Tibetan singing bowl, it's been around and you maybe see this demonstrated, uh, you maybe see them at certain trade shows and people talk about it and there's maybe certain groups that you hear of. Well, are they truly effective? Do they do something or is this some cultish thing, some what a woo-woo stuff? What about tuning forks, okay? Um, <clears throat> so these are two different areas that we're going to kind of talk about somewhat more. But the whole reason is, again, everything is sound, frequency, vibration. And so we're going to look at the benefits of attuning ourselves into um, a harmonious way. Okay, it's all about harmony. And when you are in harmony, you are not in a state of disease, but you're in a state of at ease. So when we listen to things that are disharmonious, the vibrations bring us down. Like, let's face it, what happens when there's an earthquake? The vibrations that are happening from the Earth as the Earth is moving um, set things up, standing waveforms that can crumble roads, crack the Earth, bring buildings down, and create a lot of havoc. Okay, so likewise, some of these other frequencies and vibrations are affecting us in that same way. So I'm just going to pass this back here to Jackie, and then a little bit later on, we're going to show you how this can change by using the tune and forks with our bodies or the singing bowls, how it actually raises our vibration. So um, you saw my perhaps some of my previous videos. My last one, I was using the um, signal generator, frequency generator, and we're working with Salveggio scales. These again are 
ancient okay, knowledge of frequencies that uh, Gregorian monks were trained to sing, to use, because the human voice is the purest instrument. And when we get ourselves more in tune that way, vibration-wise, um, <clears throat> we can, um, you know, set up, again, higher vibration, be a much more health, okay? So your health is your wealth, and, you know, I hope this is going to serve you to perhaps even create you to maybe want to look into it more. I'm not the only one that knows this or shares this, but I definitely, because of the ability with my wants to show the personal effect that it has, so it's not just an idea. Whatever can be measured can be managed, so we're going to help you to quantify some of these things through the use today the singing bowl and then also the uh, tuning forks so what do we know about sound frequency well music is the universal language okay um, bring the little kids into music just they start jumping around hopping around dancing it's just natural to the body to be affected by music and uh, it, it can change behavior for the good or for the bad, or for the ugly, perhaps. Um, but music can therefore be used for healing and, and or destruction. And so, <clears throat> once again, in history, and since I've been looking into the subject of, you know, how many of the instruments, uh, the musical tone A, has been detuned since the 50s, and that's through the experimentations of Joseph Goebbels, uh, German Nazi, back in the 30s, 432, which is the healing frequency, okay, you'll find that in the Solvejo scales, has become 440. And in that other previous uh, <clears throat> video we did last week, we showed you tuning the signal generator. 432, harmony increases our energy field. 440 destroys it, takes it down, okay? So if much of the music that we're listening to is where the A note a tone string whatever on a guitar is being tuned to uh, 440 it actually creates a negative effect and then it goes all along with you know other patterns and so on in the music that can perhaps even detune us even more and <clears throat> some of the more scientific ways that has been done is by dr emoto uh, missouri uh, missouri emoto um, in the, the water crystal book look at some of his stuff did the same thing he worked 432 440 um, water, when exposed to the harmonious frequencies, life-enforcing frequencies, beautiful crystal structures. Then it gets exposed to other frequencies that are not harmonious and the crystal structures look ugly. So check his work out because that brings you in a physical perspective. We're not just talking about ideas but stuff that is being able to demonstrate. So we'll, we'll demonstrate it here shortly, okay? so. Uh, this wave phenomenon is also called cymatics, okay, there's even the scientific words. So frequencies can be used for negative and positive. How else do we know it in history? Some of you might know about Dr. Royal Rife back in the 1930s. And he used these frequencies in the Rife generator. Um, and there was even his studies. He worked on 16 patients, clients, and with cancer. Now, how much cancer is there around? In Canada, they say the statistics now is one in two people will be affected by cancer. So, <clears throat> that being the case, Dr. Royal Rife in 1930, out of the 16 cases that he worked on of, with cancer, all 16 were cured. He didn't last very long because he was competition for big money. So, they destroyed everything and, and anyways, took him down. And this happened, 100% cure rate of the body again by tuning the body in less 70 days or less so you can even do some research on dr royal rife okay um that's so amazing so 432 hertz is called the furthest a it's mathematically tuned and fundamentally uh, fundamental to repair nature so your nature is nature around it so when we were incorporating 432 somehow okay where through tuning forks bowls signal generators the coil which we also have very powerful device we're helping create harmony to our bodies to our environment and perhaps helping those around us and then we can even take this out further 528 hertz very important our dna 
Our DNA is being continuously damaged through everything, our foods, chemicals that were taken in, and now also these other frequencies. And there's many ways that these frequencies are being imparted, or we've been bombarded, or being ambushed and assaulted with. So this happens continuously, 24 hours a day. So we need to kind of uh, do things. And there's a scientist here in Vancouver, his name is John Hutchison. Look up his work. He does levitation with sound. He does, uh, he did clean up oil and water mix and was involved in the Gulf of Mexico when the um, BP disaster took place. He cleaned up whole areas of water, cleared it from the oil using frequency vibration. And guess what? 432 and 528 were used. Um, so when we have things that are in harmony, in resonance with the human body, um, we are strengthened. But whatever is not found in nature, since we're nature, it will help to bring us down. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just go again over some of the um, frequencies that I want to do. Uh, talk about, okay, so here's something that everybody can use. So Solvedu frequencies. Last week's episode explains that, demonstrates that even more so. So please go to that if you're interested. I hope you are. Um, so frequencies to boost, to boost emotions, okay? Uh, why it's so important? Because if we, we produce the right emotions, it, we set ourselves up in the right vibration. So don't we know we're good things, we're enjoying good things. Oh, we're feeling good, we're feeling happy. So let's put a smile on everybody's face and, and get everybody up. So um, th these dynamics of using these frequencies and so on will also help to unlock um, these bad emotions that people have, you know, the lows. There's so many people suffering from depression. It's not a lack of drugs, okay? Let's bring the bodies up and let's vibrate them at a higher level. 432, 528 hertz, very, very important. But we'll look at some of these other ones. Um, 396, turning grief into joy, letting go of fear, okay? Very important. So many people, this world, we're being attacked, we're putting in a state of fear. So it's so you can play these frequencies on different ways. And by the way, uh, you can go to our website, um, bioenergywellnesscare.com, and you may download these frequencies for, for free if you uh, went and you the code is HEAL, capital H-E-A-L. All right, um, how about facilitating change? How many people are stuck? Perhaps you've followed a profession, uh, perhaps you're not happy because you've been told what you should be doing. You know, you, you grow up and they say, hey, get a job, get your career going, make money, own all these things. In the end, hmm, it, you might not find yourself where you're at and now you want to change. Use 472 hertz, okay? Very important. So all these frequencies, again, it's not something new that we've come uh, to discover. This is thousands of years old, okay? 532 hertz, again, natural frequencies that repairs DNA, okay? 639, enhances communications in tolerance and love. Now, you know, it's easy to talk about, Jackie and I were just talking about it, love, you know, everybody, oh, I love you. <laughs> but I can only tolerate so much. So <laughs> if you step across the line here, that's it, we're done, okay? So, hey, maybe we just need some of these frequencies. So you wanna enhance that? 639 hertz so please listen to those frequencies okay um, 741 hertz power of self-expression mm, so many people are just kind of stuck they don't know how to put things across communication so on so that helps uh, 741 hertz helps also in cleansing detoxifying so whether it's toxic thoughts just toxins in just general, okay, can help us to cleanse ourselves from that. Uh, 852, awaken intuition. And we really need that these days because, you know, um, the chakra, the uh, pineal gland uh, uh, is being shut down chemically, fluoride, okay, and they don't want you to be intuitive but we need to become more intuitive, to become more in life, to have more insight as to what is the real game that we're part of, okay? Um, this game that we're into, we're told to, to do and to have is not, but we are what? Human beings. So 
how are you really doing? And a lot of people are in pursuit of, you know, riches and trying to get happiness through drugs, through whatever, right? They set themselves up for the fall. And so much is being bombarded. We're seeing images. We've been told what it is. We're being marketed to. So, hey, you want to change? Here's some help that you can get, okay? So, um... 852 awaken intuition so these last three frequencies they kind of work really well together and 963 restores the spirit to its original setting directly connected to light we are light beings so you want the light to flow through you um, here's a very useful frequencies sleep with one of these frequencies at night and so on uh, to restore what body mind spirit and all these other level uh, levels that you can have okay so why not listen to frequencies, to music that is attuned to help and strengthen you and attune you? And again, we said your body 70% water. Water has memory. It's got amazing capacity to um, store these frequencies, okay? Doctor, again, Dr. Emoto's uh, uh, work shows that. Um, so therefore, harvesting natural forces are uh, very, very important. So just wanna talk for a minute. Okay, on the power of, let's say, even the tuning forks. And we're going to demonstrate this here shortly. Um, how this, uh, we're going to use Jackie, take her DNA, and then uh, we use a couple of things, the, the bowl and the vibration that sets up in the bowl. She's going to hold it, hit it, and then so on. But just getting back to the tuning forks, this is not a new idea. It wasn't invented in the 1800s. But in fact, the ancient Egyptian culture has used that. And this, some of the um, answers that they're getting now in terms of, um, you know, you can cut metal and wood, let's say even nowadays, with a drill. But you cannot cut the sa use the same drill to cut stone. Stone has got some particular uh, characteristics about it. It needs, you know, diamond tip. That's what we're using now. Diamond tip and vibration even. Sonic vibrations, okay, to get these things done. The Egyptians were doing this before. They were using tuning forks from up to eight, nine feet long rods on them, and they were connecting them with wires between them. And that's how they cut perfect holes. They made perfect cuts. They shaped things such as vases, beautiful round, and they did not have the tools. And so again, our metal and the stone tools certainly couldn't get to that. So nothing new here. A lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge that has existed in the past and we just need to be acquainted with. We are not the end all be all of all civilizations. So at this point now we're going to end up demonstrating to you the power that is in tuning forks and the power that's in the singing bowls. So <clears throat> I'm gonna get my, my wands. So, okay, I'll get you to stand and yeah, you'll, okay, so Two Q-tips. Jackie's gonna take this. If you've seen some of her previous videos, that's going to, she's going to swab it. Um, going to take these two tubes here. And uh, she is going to put in those two Q-tips that will contain her DNA. Okay, so that's got the Q-tips in here. Saliva on it. And that's her DNA. And we're going to insert them into my wands, into my guns. And now what we do, it's again, her DNA, her frequency. 99.8% of our DNA, doesn't matter where we're from, as a human, we're same. But that 0.2%, again, over the billions of people, we have a unique frequency. So, it's got her DNA, I can turn around, point it at her, it stays pointed to her. She walks over, you can see it follows. Okay, come on back. And it's going to come back and follow her, okay? So this is what it's doing. If I point it at the cameraman, Totario, no. Okay, it's not his frequency, so it rejects it. So now what we can do, uh, usually I might be walking back. She's gonna get all the exercise today. She's gonna walk backwards. So watch where her field is, okay? right there okay that's her field so walk forward a little bit okay she's in her field right now she walks backwards that point is 
the edge of her field, the edge of her aura, that's where her body energy goes all around. Okay, so let's grab a tuning fork and then you can go back to that spot and so you can, these are two different um, tuning forks. They're attuned slightly differently. So coming back there. Okay, so she's back standing at the edge of her energy field now. So use one, first of all. So she's gonna get knee knocked. <laughs> Look at that, she applied the tuning fork on her body and how is now vibrationally raising her? Okay, she's got that on her wrist point and you can place the tuning forks anywhere on your body. So it creates, okay, she's even raising it somewhat more. Look at the ability to build up, okay. She's gone more than double her energy field, but right there. So go ahead, hit it one more time. Okay, so we can continue to build it up. You see how it, it, fa it faces as long as this thing is um, vibrating. It brings her energy field up. And right there, once again, she's reached the edge now. One more time. And as soon as she applies it to her. So we can, you can see that these vibrations, okay, of the tuning fork can really enhance your energy field too, okay? And so they can be used in healing. All right, let's try the other one here. Come on back. <laughs> so we've got two different tuning forks. One is 128 and I think the other one is five something, five. 528 um, I forget what they're at so use use the other tuning fork I think that's the 128 one oh, it's high pitched. oh okay so so different vibration from this but again these are tuning forks with frequencies that create harmony okay so wow that's pretty powerful. She's still going just on the one go. A higher vibration from this. Okay, there she is. So do one more time. Builds her back up again. Okay, right there. All right. Okay, let's come on back. And now she's going to use the Tibetan singing bowl. And uh, again, stuff that has been used for a long time okay and we might think of it being just some cultural some religious um, aspect okay so there she stands all right just go ahead hit that and maybe you can hear it a little bit but the vibration that the singing bowl set up are pretty wild so a beautiful thing that you can have and that you can utilize as well, okay? Just very powerful. Wow. Keeps on going because it keeps on, it keeps on ringing. This is the first time that I've done this actually with the bowls. Just kind of coming up with ideas to illustrate this. Very, very powerful. So just because you don't necessarily hear the vibration when you, um, you know, strike it, um, it's, uh, yeah, it just keeps on going. <laughs> and it lasts a long time, she, and she only uh, hit it once. It just keeps on going. Wow. I'm blown away by what I see here. Yeah. <laughs> She's disappearing in the sunset. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so glad to have one of these. I'm gonna use it a lot more. Look at that. And it just keeps on going. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Come on back. <laughs> See the power of these singing bowls and it's just a, a small one. So amazing, so amazing. Um, and it's just because they keep on ringing, you keep on ringing, so it keeps on building up the uh, frequencies. And he, again, you can see how this uh, frequency that is created by the singing bowls are enhancing to the body. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty powerful stuff. Very 
yeah, it's the first time I've been able to do this. And um, I'm, I'm very happy to have it. I just know I'm going to have to use it a lot more. So, so great this stuff. Is 512. Oh, 512 from 128. Okay, so that one again, higher vibration. That's the last tuning fork you used. It took you just way out there. Mm -hmm. So, there you have it for today. Thank you for being with us again and allowing me to share this. I hope you will share this with other people, I encourage you, okay? Share this information with others uh, through your channels because what we're just trying to do is educate, give people the knowledge so that they can be empowered, okay? To help them. And visit our website, bioenergywellnesscare.com. Download those um, free um, frequencies. Also, make you aware of our energy cards, okay? Helps you protect yourself. It just builds up that shield and maintain that. You don't have to be doing anything. Just keep it on your body 24 hours a day, okay? It gives you very good protection from these other type of frequencies that are damaging to your cell phones. We're all working in with technology nowadays. So just remember that. Thanks for being with us. Bye.